You know, I, I, I got to imagine as a comedian, that was a hard position for any of you guys to be in. Um, yeah. Not just a comedian, but but a black comedian as well, right? Mm -hmm. Hollywood, black Hollywood is small. And all so, wait, not, not to cut you off, but we always say uh, you, Hollywood is small, black Hollywood is two blocks. <laughs> like it really feels like that. I, I, I know. I, it is extremely small. So y'all all know each other. And one of the the one of the true gifts that comedians have that most people don't have is you guys really get to speak on the hard topics, things that are socially not acceptable, yep. things that people feel in their heart, but they would never say out loud. And that's why we're appreciated because what you only think about, we bring it out. And we're taking Correct. that chance, especially in an effed up time like it is now, where it's like everybody's the joke police. It's the first time in my life, in my career, in 30 years of doing this, Sean, that I feel like, a lot of times I'm walking on eggshells when I'm on stage, you but know, I'm not I want to go there. Yeah. How, how is, how is woke society? Because we, we live in a completely different world. Um, than when we started 30 years ago in the nineties. Yes. How, how is this society affecting y'all's ability to do the job that you love to your fullest potential? I'm not going to lie to you. Um, there's still ways. It's almost like going, I'm going to be honest with you. It's like if you were to go on David Letterman tonight or if you were to go on Jimmy Kimmel or you were going to Jimmy Fallon tonight, you know it's TV, mm -hmm. CBS, it's NBC. You're going to be in here 10 minutes. Millions of people are going to see you. You're going to make some money. You're going to have fun. You're going to be able to, you know, um, uh, promote your show, your movie, your product, your book. You just can't cuss. That's right. just the rules because that's something called TV, prime time. It's the same way I feel with that stage. It's not going to stop me from what I do. It's just fucked up that that's kind of the environment, the pulse of what's going on now. Trust me, me not being able to talk about, you know, the gays or the lesbians or politics or this and that, that's not going to stop my career. That's not the only thing I talk about. You know what I mean? I, it, some people... People that are going to have a problem are the ones that that's all their material. I still know how to make a crowd laugh and not even have to go there. So in other words, I'm a comic that can be clean. I just don't like being clean. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. if you ask me to go on Jimmy Fallon right now, he needed 10 minutes tonight. I would destroy 10 minutes. But you come see that same set that I do at a small uh, little club in Brooklyn tonight. I can do the same jokes, but be cussing my ass off. The laughter is going to be different. I just tweaked a few things. When you go in front of white people, you just got to know they're much more politically correct. They get offended easy. Our culture is not like that. Our culture is like, nigga, I'm coming to get these chicken wings, drink this Hennessy. Forget about my job I got to go to tomorrow and just have a great time. Nigga, talk your shit. White people aren't like that. They're like, oh, I can't believe you said that. Do you know my mother? Okay, I have a friend who's gay, and I think that's wrong. Okay, what are you talking about? You shouldn't have tragic. We, you know, they're just, they just overthink it. You get what I'm saying? Black folks yeah. think of the fuck. His next nigga come to stay. He hilarious. Give it up, foe. You know what I mean? It's just our culture. You get what I'm saying? So to, I said all that to answer your question. Um, the politically correct world we're living in the, the pins and needles you can say this you could say that you can get canceled if you do this catch you just gotta take it with a grain of salt when you think about your material either have a couple of versions or just certain shit you can believe me there's sometimes i have material that i can only talk about in my house or if we went to lunch right now or in a bar, and I'd be like, and you, and I see that you're laughing your ass off, Sean. I'd be like, nigga, I wish I could take that to the stage. But if this was the Richard Time, Eddie Murphy days, I would have took that to the stage. Absolutely. That's Absolutely. a fucked up part about it. Nah, you know, earlier you started, right right before I cut in, um, you was like, you know, you, you're walking on eggshells these days. And that's such a messed up position to be. It really is. That's a comic. 
And that's only if, let's just be honest, uh, if you're, I hate to say it, but if you're a nigga that don't give a fuck, you're going to be doing the chitlin circuit the rest of your life. You'll make okay. some money, but you ain't going to be on CBS no time soon. You're not going to be on ABC, NBC prime time. And let's just be honest, that's what we all would love to do because that's where the real money's at. So you got to make a decision. So t- taking into consideration what you just said, does it make Dave Chappelle that much greater as yes. a comedian, as a human being, mm-hmm. as somebody who was willing to go against the grain despite yeah. knowing all of the things that you just said and having Absolutely. to lose? And Do trust me. This man is the holy grail himself in, yeah. in reincarnation? I'm not going to lie to you. Not only is that my brother, that's my friend, and we came up together. His picture circle. I just somebody just sent me a picture. You know, anybody ever send you a picture on the internet that a picture you totally forgot about? You were 19 or you were 20. Somebody sent me a picture of me and Dave Chappelle walking on the streets of Manhattan at nigga in 1991. We looked like we were 12 and 15 years old. Oh man. Like we came up together. Like I love him for what he did, what he is, what he's become. And to answer your question, yes. Because I can't lie, I have a wife and three kids. I can't say fuck Hollywood yet, nigga. I need to work. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, I can't get to the point where I don't give a fuck what they think. I'm going to do my shit. I say that to an extent. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? But Dave has taken it to that level where he can give a fuck less what they think. Right? Still be rich and successful and live happily ever after. Not too many people could say that. I mean, you know, like I just admitted that to you. Hey, man, mm-hmm. I, I would love to have an ABC TV show. Nigga, that's, that's three times more than a show on Netflix. That's three times more than, a, than, than doing a goddamn podcast that's making nothing. You get what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, I'm going to use the word they, and I think you know what they is. They still run this shit. And if you rub them, and you know who them is, you rub them the wrong way, and they think you're too much of a Negro, oh, you'll do a little work here and there, but you're not going to get to that highest level. But for Dave to be able to be that chink in the armor and do what he's done, hey, man, it's, it's brilliant, and I commend him on it. No, you got to give it up to that brother. I, I, I'm going I'm to keep it so real. Like, I, I don't do what you guys do. Um, but to see how he is willing to say F it, to see how he's willing to say, if you take this from me, mm-hmm. it's almost not worth me doing because exactly. I can't enjoy it to say, like, like, this is so pure. Just And I'm just watching him from the outside in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Met him a few times in my life, but you can tell it's so pure for him that he'd rather do it for zero. And it's easy to say it when you're a multi, multi, multi millionaire, mm-hmm. but he'd rather do it his way and not do it at all. So, so yeah. I get up to that man. Oh, I'm all day, good. all day. But you know, it's almost like saying there's a ton of different avenues in this world, in this business. You know, they say it's a ton of different ways to skin a cat or whatever. Uh, I think they really mean that over in Asia because they will eat that motherfucker. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> How do you want your cat skin? Do you want that uh, broiled, fried? Uh, <laughs> but um, there's a lot of different ways you can still get successful. You know what I mean? Everybody's got different styles. It'd be like if we were talking about hip hop right now. It's a bunch of filthy rich motherfuckers in hip hop with different styles. But we could talk about who the Holy Grail is, right? They still were successful, but there's other guys nowadays. Come on, man. You know hip hop like I do. It'd be a nigga that yep. came out last Thursday, and this nigga's triple platinum with a billion streams. And you know what I mean? It's, it's just a different ways to get it. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. I'll catch you all on the next video.